Ooh. Oh, hey, you're here to explore the Eliverse with me, Professor World. Hi, Professor World, and I'm sleepy. Hey, Carl? Yes, Professor World? Can we cancel all my experiments for today? I cannot do that. Oh, come on. It's nice and warm. Can we have one lazy day? No, Professor World. You feel like this every time the Elamont Thermal stops by the lab. Oh, but it's so warm and cozy. It's the perfect temperature for a nap. I will start this episode while you snap out of it. Since the lab is nice and warm due to the Elamon Thermal visiting, let's look out how he was able to warm up the entire lab. You see, Thermal has a chemical formula of C2H3NaO2. He is made of carbon, hydrogen, sodium, and oxygen. This is the same chemical composition as sodium acetate, the substance used in heating pads. Right, Professor World? Oh, oh, oh yeah, pads with heat. Hand warmers and heating pads emit heat when the molecules crystallize, forming a solid. Professor World has prepared that exact experiment for you today. Right, Professor World? <sighs> Excuse me. Right, Professor World? Yes, you're right. I have an idea. Let's get some energy flowing. I challenge you to do one of your chemistry dances. Oh, I could do that. Check out my hot and icy dance. That dance was too simple, and it didn't do the trick. You leave me no choice. Akuro! No, no, no! Don't arc of blast me! I'm up, I'm up! I thought so. Now that I'm awake, it's time for an experiment. Today, we're going to make hot ice. The experiment will yield what's called an exothermic reaction, which means the energy released will be in the form of heat. That's how you get hot ice. All we need is baking soda and vinegar. And remember, for this experiment, you need an adult helping you. First, we add vinegar to the pot. Now we add the baking soda. Make sure to add one tablespoon at a time. You don't want it to erupt like a volcano. Now we have to let the mixture boil for about an hour. Now that our mixture is clear, we're gonna pour it into another container and let it cool completely. Whoa! Check out the crystals on this pot. Save these because we will use them for the reaction. First, I'm gonna scrape these crystals onto the plate. Then, I'm gonna take my stick and dip it into the water. Now, I'm gonna roll them around in the crystals. Perfect! These crystal sticks will help us start the reaction. Professor World, your one experiment is ready. Oh, I'm not just doing one experiment, Calm. Wait, you're going to do two experiments? Think bigger. Three experiments? Bigger. One million experiments? Oh, okay, I'm only doing four, Calm. One million is kind of a lot. Four experiments? That's right. Let's get started. It's time to test our hot eyes. Experiment number one. Are you ready? Whoa. Look how the crystals are forming around the stick. Woo! Whoa. Look at that. Look at all the crystals. Oh, it really does look like ice. Whoa, check this out. Okay, let's do the next one. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, it's forming a crystal around the stick. Whoa, whoa, that looks crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at that, isn't it awesome? 
Ooh, oh, and it's a little warm. I guess that's why they call it hot ice. Ha, gotta love science. For our second experiment, we're gonna try it with this. Whoa. Oh my god. On to the next experiment. And now for the hand test. First, I'm gonna dip it in some water. Then I'm gonna get some crystals on it. Just like that, on my very tips, okay. Great. Now I'm gonna be taking off the lid and dipping my hand in. Oh, the crystals are activating. Oh, it's getting harder. You can see it's getting visibly harder. Oh, it's harder to move my hand. Oh, my hand's getting stuck in it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Look at all these crystals. It feels so warm in here because of the exothermic reaction. Whoa. Look at this. For this next experiment, we're going to pour it. The mixture instantly crystallizes, allowing the sodium acetate to create a tower of crystals. <laughs> no, my crystal tower is so beautiful. <laughs> and now for the fast pour. Wow, look at all the crystals. Experiments were a success. At least we made it through all of the experiments. That's all for Professor World today!